Welcome to Latest World News. President Barack Obama has awarded two deceased World War I Army heroes, one black and one Jewish, with the Medal of Honor. The ceremony at the White House took place nearly 100 years after the two were denied their medals, possibly because of discrimination. Sergeant William Shimon and Private Henry Johnson both heroically saved comrades in WWI. The Medal of Honor is the U.S.'s highest military honor. They both risked their lives to save the lives of others, said Mr. Obama. It's never too late to say thank you. We are grateful that you never gave up. Shimon, who was Jewish, evaded gunfire to save wounded soldiers. Johnson, who was serving in an all-black regiment known as the Harlem Hellfighters, rescued an injured comrade and fought off a German attack by himself. Advocates for the two men urged Congress to change rules for Medal of Honor recipients that specified the heroic actions had to take place within a five-year time frame. Jewish soldier Shimon's daughter, Elsie Shimon Roth, accepted the award on her father's behalf. She had worked for years to garner the documents outlining her father's actions so he could qualify. M's Shimon Roth, who is in her 80s, began her campaign after learning about a U.S. law that reviewed cases of Jews denied medals during World War II. She fought for passage of a similar law for Jewish World War I veterans. Congress last year passed the exemption that would qualify her father, who died in 1973. This was anti-Semitism, no question about it, M's Shimon Roth said. Now a wrong has been made right and all is forgiven. Johnson's supporters had been pushing for the Medal of Honor for decades. The Virginia native died in 1929. When a collection of military records became available online, including a communique from WWI General John Pershing describing Johnson's actions that night of the German attack, his case gained steam. New York National Guard Command Sergeant Major Louis Wilson accepted the award on Johnson's behalf. We have to make sure all of our heroes' stories are told," said Mr. Obama. America is the country we are today because of people like Henry and William. The least we can do is to say. We know who you are.